What's up guys? I am now going to do a Heaven Benchmark with the GTX Titan at 2560 by 1600 so we can have an idea and um, this should be pretty fun. DirectX 11, ultra quality, extreme tessellation, stereo 3D disabled, full monitor disabled, anti-aliasing 8 times high as you go, 2560 by 1600, run. Let's do it. It's going to start we're going to bang it out. And then we're going to do another one at 1920 by 1080 because I really big time want to compare the numbers. Let me make sure it gets this good. All right. What I want to do is compare the numbers compared to the 670s uh, for the win editions um, that I had so I know what they got everything so I want to compare it so that's gonna be a big one I want to try that out so so this is the mother load right now guys you're not gonna push anything harder than this is getting pushed right now if you see quickly I don't want to block you you can't even see that it's so small the writing up there because it's a 2560 by 1600 it looks like a dot I don't think you guys are even gonna be able to see that Yeah, it's minuscule. I'm laughing, I'm trying to see it even naturally. Well, we're going to find out what the scores are and we'll post it. I'm going to write this down as we're watching. Today. Okay. Wow, that looks really awesome. I'll tell you, this monitor just screams. The colors in this monitor, I mean, I'm so used to it now, are just so amazing to me. The depth, the colors, just the, the pop effect on this kind of resolution is just frightening. I hope all you guys one day could get at least a 2560 by 1440 or something. You know, especially when 4K comes around, forget it. But uh, this monitor is just, you should, should, everybody should just have it. It's awesome. Just to let you know, the GPU right now is about what we had on the other one, 69 Celsius. Just this card is just outstanding. You know, there's the uh, power target, which I'll do a video soon on Precision X. On It's the new, uh, with the new Precision X 4.00, whatever, it's... Uh, it's made to really capture the overclocking abilities of this Titan. And I can't even imagine getting to the threshold that it, you can get it up to, because it has all the way up to 90. I don't know how the hell you would get it up there, because this card just runs so cool. I mean, look at this. We're maxed out right now. Maxed out. 2560 by 16. Everything's working as hard as you can push a video card, and it's still 69 Celsius. So if it doesn't show you the amazing... Uh, not only technology behind the card, but the cooling solution. Hats off to Invita for this card. Brilliant, beautiful card. As it still hasn't hit 70 Celsius. Trying to, but fans not letting it. Alright, we're getting up to stage 20 of 26. One card is an absolute animal. It's fighting. Oh, 70 Celsius. Oh, 69, 70, 70, 69. Psh, runs so cool. God, the grass looks so awesome right there. It's it looks like real grass. But this video card's gonna need uh, a dip in a cold pool after this. I can feel the room heating up, even though it's not running hot. It's heating up the room, man. Alright, we're getting towards the end. Stage 26 coming up. Still 69 Celsius. Hats off to this card. And we should be at the end here. Oh god, that sun looks so amazing right there. All right, here we go. 
So we got a score of frames per second, 34.8, score, 876, minimum, 16.9, max was 71.3. As you know, that was 2560, 2560 by 1600, maxed out, so.